Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we are going to learn how to find the maximum or the minimum value of a quadratic function. Before we begin, if you are new to my science tutorials, kindly consider subscribing and pressing that notification button so that you don't miss any of our latest tutorials on biology, chemistry, mathematics and physics. So let's begin. So let's start by looking at an example. Example number one. What is the minimum value of the function f of x given to us by 3x squared minus 2s plus 1? And at what value of x does it occur? So let's go ahead and write the solution of this. Now, whenever we have the function f of x being given to us by 3x squared minus 2x plus 1, we have a function in this format and we have to find the maximum or the minimum of this function we try to express the function in the form what a into bracket x plus or minus b squared plus c okay so if you are able to convert this function into a form like this then we can see our c is now our maximum or our minimum value and then the the what we have the function we have in the bracket x plus or minus b if we equate it to zero, it becomes the value at which our C or the maximum or the minimum value occurs. Okay, so we try to express the function, any function that we are given at all in this form. Okay, then our C, the value of what we have as the C becomes our maximum or minimum value. And then uh, if we equate what is in the bracket to zero, then we get the value at which okay now someone may be confused how do i know whether the, the the equation given to me or the function given to me i'm going to find the maximum value or the minimum value in case the question did not ask me to find all right so one clue that we normally use is the coefficient of the x term that we have over here so if the coefficient of the x term or the the x term sorry the s squared term over here if it is positive like we have in this case then we are finding the minimum value the minimum value on the other hand if it is what negative which will be seen in the next question if it is negative then it means we are going to get our maximum maximum value okay so when we have the coefficient of the s squared term to be negative we know we are going for maximum value and if we have the s squared term to be what positive we are we know we are going for what the minimum value so this is a, a very simple way you can use to figure out whether you are going to find the maximum or the minimum of the function all right so let's go ahead and look at the solution for this problem so we have the function f of x is equal to 3s squared minus 2s plus 1 so the first thing we do when we want to find the maximum or the minimum of a function is by we use the method uh, of completing squares by the way so we try to make the coefficient of the s squared term 1 by making the coefficient of what the x term 1 we mean the function this f of x is now equal to we now factor 3 out from this equation if we factor 3 out then it means our s squared term becomes what? 1, the coefficient becomes 1. But then we have to divide these other uh, variables in the equation by what? The, the 3, okay? So we have 2 over 3x plus 1 over 3. Now, if you multiply the 3 through by um, this function, we are going to get what we have at the top over here. So it means we have not done anything at all to the function the function is still what it is at the top over here all right so now that we make we are successful in making the s squared term one we now do what we we add and subtract we add and subtract what half squared the coefficient coefficient of what of x 
So it means the coefficient of x then which is in this case negative 2 over 3 we half it and then we score it then we add and we subtract to this same equation so let's go ahead so the coefficient of what s term over here let me use another color the coefficient is what negative 2 over 3 so half of this if you multiply it by half is going to give us what negative 2 divided by what 6 which is equal to what negative 1 over 3 so we now square it so this is the half square coefficient of x so what we do is what we add and then we subtract it to what we have in the bracket if we add and we subtract it is more like we are still adding nothing because we add and we subtract so they will cancel out which in this case we are not going to cancel out because we need it to get to the solution so we add this and then we subtract it to the function so we have f of x is equal to 3 outside the bracket then we have s squared minus 2 over 3x then we add the negative 1 over 3 squared to this then plus the 1 over 3 we have over here then we subtract this again from 1 over 3 which is what negative 1 over 3 all squared all right so from here we go on ahead and solve we have three outside bracket now if we look at we have s squared minus 2 over 3x plus into bracket negative 1 over 3 all squared all what we have over here is what x s minus what one over the 1 over 3 that we have over here so we have 1 over 3 all squared so if you think this is a lie or or you are not convinced let's try and expand what we have in the bracket over here and see whether we are going to get what we have over here let me use another color what we have from what s square to this term so let's expand this so i'm using another color for that so we have s minus what half this um squared so whenever we have the function let's say a plus b squared the expansion is in the form a square plus what two a b plus what b squared so if this is true it means what we have over here squared is equal to what first term which is the a which is the x over here will not be what s squared now plus two into bracket our a is still x okay but then our b is what which our b is what negative negative one over three this is x multiplied by negative 1 over 3 then plus our b squared which is what negative 1 over 3 squared so we have s squared plus if we multiply the 2 by what we have or let's say 2 into bracket um this is uh, x negative s divided by 3 plus negative 1 over 3 all squared so this now becomes what we have what s squared minus 2 over 3 x okay plus into bracket negative 1 over 3 all squared can we see that what we have over here s squared minus 2 over 3 x plus into bracket negative 1 over 3 squared is the same as what we have over here yes so it means if we write what we have over here as this we are not wrong we are totally correct so let's go ahead Let's continue with our solution after I quickly erase um, this part of the work. Alright. Okay, so we are done with this part. So all we need to what? All we need to do, sorry, is to simplify the other part of the equation so we have plus 1 over 3 minus into brackets if we squared what we have in the bracket we are going to get 1 over 9 so we have the function f of s is equal to what 3 then we have outside bracket 1 minus 1 over 3 squared plus then we have this the lcm is 9 we have 3 will go into 9 3 times we multiply it by 1 it becomes 3 
minus 9 will go here 1 multiplied by 1 is still 1 so we have this so we have the function f of x is equal to 3 outside bracket we have x minus this then plus this now becomes what 2 over 9 now because we have 3 outside bracket let's use it to multiply all that we have in the bracket and then we have uh, our answer simplified for us so we have the function f of x is equal to 3 multiplied by what we have in the bracket to give us 3 into bracket x minus 1 over 3 squared plus 3 multiplied by what 2 over 9 <coughs> sorry so we have f of x is equal to what 3 x minus 1 over 3 squared plus 3 will, uh, uh, 3 will go into 9 what um, 3 times so we have what we uh, this will cancel 1 this will be what 3 so we have what 2 over 3 alright so it means okay this is now in the form this function is now in the form what a plus or minus b squared plus what c as i said in the beginning of this tutorial sorry a outside bracket x plus or minus b squared plus c like i said in the beginning of the tutorial so it means what we have as the c which is what 2 over 3 is now our minimum value so our minimum value our minimum value our minimum value is what 2 over 3 and it occurs and it occurs it occurs at what s what we have x minus what 1 over 3 is equal to 0 or s is equal to what 1 over 3 so this is how we solve or this is how we find the maximum or the minimum value of a quadratic function let's have a look at another example example number two we have to find the maximum value of the function f of x is equal to 4 minus 7x minus s squared and state the value of x at which the function occurs or the value the maximum or the minimum value occurs so let's write down our solution so we have f of x is equal to 4 minus 7x minus s squared for me i would like to rewrite this equation to have what my s squared term coming first so i have negative s squared minus 7x plus 4 all right so as usual i will try to make the coefficient of what s squared 1 not negative 1 so i will factor out what negative 1 so if i factor out negative 1 i have what s squared will be left then i'll have negative 7 x divided by negative 1 plus the 4 here divided by the negative 1 so if i simplify what i have in the bracket i still have negative 1 outside bracket s squared then this becomes negative divided by negative will not give us positive so we have positive 7 x then we have minus this will now becomes negative what 4 all right so now that we've arrived at this place all we need to do is what half square what coefficient coefficient of what of x so let me use another color for that so we have our coefficient of x is 7 so half of 7 is what 7 over 2 and then we square it all right so we add the half squared coefficient of x to the to the x value over here and then we subtract it from the constant over here so we go ahead we have the function f of s is equal to negative 1 then we have s squared plus 7x then plus what we have over here 7 on 2 squared then minus the 4 then minus the half squared coefficient of x which is what 7 over 2 squared then bracket close now mind you we added the half square which is 7 over 2 we added it to the s term then we subtracted it from what the constant or the 
there are four over here so we add and we subtract so they can still cancel out and we still have the equation as we have at the top over here so let's go ahead so from here we have negative one now if i say what we have over here in the bracket is now equal to what x plus what 7 over 2 squared we should be able to understand because i explained that earlier if we expand what we have in the bracket over here we are going to be getting all that we have from here to here so this this care of this is always the case so we, we just write the x without the squared plus whatever that is um, in the bracket or the half squared the coefficient of x then you score it and then if you expand it you still get this so that takes care of this side so we now go ahead and write minus 4 minus now 7 squared is 49 and then 2 squared is what 4 so we just simplify what we have and then we get our solution so we have this squared minus 4 or let me Alright, so if we have this, this is divided by 1. So we have the LCM will be what? Will be 4. So we have 4. 1 will go into 4 4 times. 4 times 4 will give us what? 16. Then minus 4 will go into 4 1. 1 times 49 will give us what? 49. So we have the function f of s is equal to negative 1. Then we have s plus 7 over 2 squared. Now we have negative here, so it's affecting the 16. So negative 16 minus negative 49. This will give us what? Negative 60. 65 divided by 4. Bracket closed. So we just multiply through by the negative 1 we have over here. Then we get our answer. So we have f of x is equal to negative 1 will multiply 2 j so we have negative 1 x plus 7 over 2 squared then minus 65 over 4 multiplied by negative 1 so we have the function f of s is equal to negative 1 x plus 7 over 2 squared now the negative 1 multiplying this now turns this negative to what positive 65 over 4 so it means our maximum value maximum value is what 65 on 4 and it occurs and it occurs at what what we have in the bracket x plus 7 over 2 is equal to 0 or s is equal to negative 7 over 2 so this is how we find the maximum or the minimum of a function or a quadratic equation so first of all we make the coefficient of the s squared term one then we now find a half and we square the coefficient of x we add and we subtract it to the function so that we we don't change anything about the function now we now simplify to get our a a outside bracket x plus b squared term which is what uh, i have over here then plus our constant and then we can now see what our c which we get at the end of simplifying becomes our maximum or our minimum value and then what we have in the brackets being equated to zero becomes the value at which it occurs so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye